Mike! What happened, man? We're supposed to be fishing! No! It can't be! It's... <laughs> it's frozen! Hold on, hold on. We might be okay. Let's try something. Alright, man, why don't you try throwing out a cast? Maybe we can punch through the ice. <sighs> Didn't work. Yeah, it's not looking too good today. Well, uh, let's go ahead and go to plan B. Why don't we just uh, talk about some tips and tricks for pond bassing in the winter? Okay. So we're out here with professional bass fisherman, Mike Iconelli. So Mike, what are some uh, tips and tricks you have for pond bassing in the winter? Yeah, you know, uh, I love pond fishing. My general rule when I'm pond fishing is I want to carry baits that cover the top, the middle, and the bottom. But in the winter time, especially when it's cold, uh, when that water temperature's in the 30s and 40s, I eliminate the top. Those fish aren't going to eat a surface lure. And I concentrate on lure categories that fish the middle of the water column and the bottom. And, uh, you know, fish in the winter, a lot of times are lethargic. They lay on the bottom, they feed on the bottom, but they also suspend. So I want to focus on categories that are from the middle to the bottom. Uh, you know, for the middle category, man, I've got two favorites. And they're, they're favorites of mine for a lot of years. And they're both baits that perfectly hit that middle water column. Uh, the first one is a suspending jerk bait. Man, you know, fish in the winter... They feed on a lot of bait, and bait in the wintertime will suspend. A lot of times it'll die, too. It, it gets cold, and that forage starts to die, and it just kind of hangs in the middle. Uh, you know, a bait like that right there, that's a Rapala uh, Husky Jerk, uh, is a perfect bait. I like the smaller sizes. The key in selecting size is match the forage. Think about the forage that's in the lake. But suspending jerk bait, number one lure choice for pond fishing in the winter, to cover the middle zone. You know, the second one would be a crankbait. But specifically in the winter, I want a crankbait with a tight wobble. That's real key. I don't want a, a square bill with a big wide wobble. I want something with a super tight wobble. And my favorite since I was probably 15 years old is the good old fashioned Rapala Shad Wrap. And I know you've heard of that bait. And, uh, you know, I carry them from the shallow shad wrap, which will dive a couple feet deep, all the way to the five and seven shad wraps, which will dive six to eight feet. Um, so suspend and jerk bait, tight wobble crankbait, perfect lures for covering the middle of the water column. You know, but then I want a few lures that cover a little bit lower. So, you know, that foot above the bottom to the bottom. And when they're just off the bottom, you know, this is an old lure choice for me, and it's changed names over the years. I used to call it a grub. People now are calling it a finesse swim bait, and it's the perfect, perfect lure choice. And it's so easy to fish it near the bottom. When those fish are just right off the bottom, it's the absolute best bait. Simply, all it is is a jig head with a grub or a small swim bait style body on it. Uh, I like any of the VMC jig heads from a sixteenth of an ounce all the way up to maybe a quarter, three sixteenths of an ounce. Uh, that's the Finesse Half Moon Head. It's a real good one. And then on the Grub, man, there's so many good ones out there, but this one is special. Power Bait Ripple Shad looks like a little piece of forage. Again, when I'm thinking about color, match the hatch, baby. Think about your forage. If you're a fisher eating yellow perch, something with some green and orange, something with a little chartreuse. If they're feeding on minnows, the pearl colors, something with white in it. Think about your forage choice. You know, the last zone for me when I'm fishing in the winter is the bottom. And a lot of fish in the dead of winter in these ponds like we have here are going to lay on the bottom. They actually lay on it. I've caught them with mud on their bellies. Um, and for that situation, I've got two lure choices. I keep it real simple. The one is the good old shaky head worm. And it's phenomenal. You know, it's uh, your favorite shaky jig head, whatever that is. That's a VMC rugby head. And a straight tail worm. You know, it's real key in the wintertime is this a, is a real thin straight tail worm. The only modification I'm going to make in the winter is I usually try to shorten that worm down a little bit. That's a six and a quarter inch worm. I take it, I bite it down. I bite about a, a, a half of an inch, three quarters of an inch off it. Make it a little bit more compact. That thing on the bottom drug real slow is perfect for those wintertime fish and you know the last one and i be honest with you i've caught most of my really big fish in the winter with this bait 
is a finesse jig. It's a small, compact jig. It's uh, This one right here is, is a bait by Missile Jigs. It's called the Mini Flip Jig. It's a perfect imitator of a crawfish. Fish love eating crawfish in the winter. Crawfish are barrowed down in the mud on a warm day. They'll pop out a little bit. Bass suck them in. It's such an easy meal. Again, stick to the natural colors. Black and blue, green pumpkin, you can't go wrong. Um, I keep my bait choices real simple. Middle to bottom, real simple categories. And where I fish in ponds, another real simple rule. You want to target the deepest water in that pond. And, uh, you know, even if you've never fished a pond before, it's pretty easy to figure out where that deep water is going to be. It's going to be toward the dam. In the wintertime in these pond systems, the warmest water is the deepest water. The bait fish will go there, the bluegill species will go there, and the bass will go there. So target the deepest water areas, keep it simple and lower choice, and you're going to catch them. Unless the lake's frozen like it is today. Mike Iaganelli talking about pond fishing tips for the winter. Awesome tips, Mike. Thanks again for doing this vid for me. You're welcome. Telling my subs a couple of pond fishing tips for the winter. Yep. Coming from a professional like you, it means a lot. And uh, guys, be sure to check out this man's channel. Coming up very soon. What do we got coming up, Mike? We got the revived Going Ike video series coming out January 15th, 2016. I'm excited. Dude, it's going to be awesome. Be sure to subscribe to Mike's channel. I'll have a link right here and in the video description below. But, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate we couldn't fish today, man. I was looking forward to it. Frozen. So we got some ice in the water. Ice. Why don't we go ahead and uh, do a little ice skating today? I'm in. Awesome, man. Let's do it. Let's do it.